I can only pray that the likes of WarCorp666 actually make a video response to this amount of stupidity, because holy shit, this feminist is fucking dumb. Online, they can take your character, lock them in place, have made their character pantsless, and then can simulate sexual assault. Believe it or not, this person is actually a YouTuber uh, with the same name, Sam Mags. And if you take a look at her videos, you would see that the same thing that any feminist would do. Disable their ratings, disable their comments, therefore don't have to deal with the amount of hatred they receive due to, you know, due to the uh, sexist culture that we live in with your character and you are helpless to stop it. The graphics are so good, this attack is eerily realistic, but this is virtual rape. Hackers rewriting codes and hijack Grand Theft Auto. The vile scenes are then posted to YouTube. That's deplorable and should not be allowed anywhere. This is a fucking virtual game. No one is being hurt by it. Only insensitive, insensitive bastards like yourself. <sighs> there is always going to be hacks in a video game. Eventually, there's always going to be someone out there who's going to provide hacks for everyone. And everyone's going to start hacking. And then the whole game, you know, gets fucked up. We get servers that, you know, people can cheat on and etc, etc. All this sort of bullshit. Look. I know you're probably not a big fan of GTA 5 or God of War or um, Infamous or any game that shows on how masculine a man can be, you know, or any game that's completely violent. But you're trying to pretty much try to censor these hacks because of your insecurity, insecure Feeling. Like, they should be banned off the servers immediately. Violence. In Grand Theft Auto, for instance, players carry knives and guns and they get away with looting and murder. But the sexual brutality now popping up online has the attention of Toronto police. And what the fuck are they going to do? Out of people have experienced it. In this scene, a dog has been modified to do disturbing things, and Detective Sean Marshall, who investigates cyber crimes, tells me this new trend is hard to label. A little hacker could be next to impossible. It depends on where the person is that's actually doing it, because they could be anywhere in the world. So because of what she calls a misogynistic mentality that already exists in the world of gaming, and she says these new rape scenes only illuminate that. The statement alone is so fucking stupid that I have nothing to say about it. It's violating, it's triggering for people who have survived assault in the past. I have been assaulted before and I still play violent video games. How, the, how in the world does this work? Please explain. can also be hacked and modified, so we're taking a look. And that's the end of the video. My... My reaction is that I'm not really surprised that something like this is happening, you know. Oh my god, the game is already misogynistic as it is. Well, why do you have to add these fucking hacks? <laughs> oh, oh. Look, there aren't that many female developers out there. And there's even less female hackers out there. But here's a suggestion. Gather up all your female hackers, if you know any, and hack the game yourself. So that way you can play Itsy Pitsy Unicorns and all that shit in GTA 5. Okay? I really... I don't think you can actually police the internet. Okay, you can't police online video games to fit your uh, your personality, to fit your idea of what a video game should be like. That's the only way that you can play GTA 5 and not get your ass hurt. 
Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game.